plot twists, by Google definition, are used to introduce a radical change in the direction or expected outcome of the plot. And whether they're done well or poorly, the significance of them in modern cinema can't be denied. From Fight Club, to Get Out, to Parasite, plot twists are a big reason for these films' critical acclaim, by adding deeper meanings and subtext behind the base ideas seen on the surface. Despite my love and admiration for these films, I believe there is one film that succeeds in delivering the perfect plot twist by expertly utilising the shift in the story while exploring reality-grounded themes with absurdism and humour. This film is Boots Riley's 2018 debut feature length, Sorry to Bother You. Sorry to Bother You is an Afro-surrealist dark comedy which centres around the character of Cassius Green, played by Lakeith Stanfield, who gets a job as a telemarketer for the company Regal View in order to pay rent to his uncle whose garage he lives in with his artist girlfriend Detroit. Cash struggles at the job until an older co-worker, Langston, tells him to put on his white voice. This leads Cassius to begin to excel and impress those higher up. Hey, Mr. Kramer, this is Langston from Regal View. I didn't catch you at the wrong time, did I? It's a very on-the-nose way of talking about the parallels of race and class division. However, I think it works really well feeding into the Afro-surrealist genre. After forming a union with his co-workers and participating in a protest where he expects to be fired, Cassius instead is promoted to a power cooler, where he takes a lift upstairs into an elitist society, where he learns that Regal View secretly sells military arms and cheap labour from the corporation worry-free. Cassius begins to lose his sense of self, valuing his increase in wealth and status over his relationships, leading Detroit to break up with him and his friendship with his old co-workers to fully deteriorate. Cash gets invited to a strange, predominantly white upper-class party with the worry-free's charismatic yet slightly sinister CEO, Steve Lift. After entering a private meeting with Lyft, where Cash snorts a powdered substance assumed to be cocaine, he goes to the toilet, however takes a wrong turn, leading to an unexpected discovery. Oh, just hold on, man. What the fuck? It seemed entirely ridiculous that out of nowhere, the director had decided to just throw in random anthropomorphic horses three quarters of the way into the film. It was like nothing I had ever seen before, but that was part of the reason I loved it. Somehow, despite its completely random absurdity, it remained so true to the world the film had created and the underlying messaging behind each aspect of the characters and plot. The film continues with Lyft explaining to Cash that these horse people are called Equisapiens, who are workers who have been transformed into Worry Free's plan to make them stronger, more obedient and more profitable. And he offers Cassius a $100 million offer to become one of them for five years, which he declines. Horrified, Cash makes amends to his friendships and relationship with Detroit, starts another protest against Regal View, where the Equisapiens end up breaking out and becoming free. Everything's okay now, right? Well, not quite, as it turns out the cocaine Cash snorted was actually the drug turning him into an Equisapien, and the film ends with him leading an army of other Equisapiens into Lyft's mansion, where they break down the door. <sighs> Although on surface level, Sorry to Bother You seems entirely bonkers and not to be taken that seriously, the significance of the horse people really stuck with me in the way they explore the unforgiving consequences of unbridled capitalism. The Equisapiens are used as a device in the plot to shift the perspective of the protagonist and make Cash realise that he's just a cog in this corporate machine, leading perfectly into the third act of the film with Cash finally breaking away and understanding the things that truly matter. Director Boots Riley himself said in an interview, when I'm bending reality, I'm able to convey these larger messages in a way that remains true to myself. And I think this idea in Sorry to Bob View is executed perfectly by abstractly conveying these effects of capitalism in a bold and striking way to effectively communicate the message of the film in a way which the audience definitely won't forget. Never before have I seen this level of originality in a plot twist before, and I'm not sure if I ever will again.